Welcome to The Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. We have a great guest that's here today. Her name is Cynthia. She's from Brooklyn, and she has a lot to say. We want you guys to check her out, and we love what we do, so go ahead and love, like, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the inside. Hey, everybody. This is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa Travel and Tourism, and I'm sitting here with this one over here. She's going to I'm, introduce I'm herself. Gonna, I'm just going to keep waving. Dr. Latasha Blanton, in the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. <laughs> and we have a, 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 a guest here. She's from Brooklyn, New York. She's been having a good time from what I understand. She's been telling me a little bit, but she's going to tell us the rest of the story as it goes on. I'm sure it's going to be interesting. So here we go. I'm going to let her introduce herself. So ready? Let's do it. Hi, everybody. I'm Cynthia from Brooklyn, New York. And you got to do this. <laughs> this is the real South Africa. Okay. I mean the real joint. This is what you do. Tell them. Everything starts with a dream. Mm -hmm. You make a plan. You do your research. Yeah. Open up your pockets. Mm -hmm. Okay. And contact the Blantons. You'll never go wrong. Impeccable service. And I mean impeccable. What do you mean by that? Because some people think just getting a room and jumping in a car and going places is just... It's, it's not a room. <laughs> not a room. They get you an uh, apartment, and I was like a rat in a cheese factory. Uh -huh. I ran from the front until the back. I couldn't believe I was in this area. Mm -hmm. What I like about the Blantons is their honesty. Um, they listen to you. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have any special requests, they try and fulfill it. And if they can't, they tell you, you know, they'll give you other options. Um, also, what I liked about my trip, because I came by myself, my issue was security. Yeah. You don't have to worry about that. You're never alone. Okay. Ever. Ever alone. Okay. Guys, our drinks are showing up. She has a drink. I have my drink, of course. There it is. And the brother's giving us great service, and we really appreciate it. What do you always Just some water? Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, guys, we're going to continue this conversation. It's going to be a really, really, really good conversation. So just, just, just stay tuned. Just stay with it and whatnot. Of course, i got to get my drink on. But at the same time, I want Tasha to tell you, you know, from the beginning, like when she first called. So I'm gonna shoot this to Tasha. Oh, remember when she first called some time no, ago? It was, it was 2020, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it, it it took her about three years for this to happen, but she was determined. We worked with her from the very beginning. She had a custom itinerary, um, which is some things that um, that we often do if we need to. She was very specific in what she wanted to do, and I think I was able to deliver what she wanted. Mm -hmm. um, it was fun for me to be able to give her what she was asking for and I think that she's happy as well but it did take about three years for this to come into play but the first conversation was she knew where she wanted to go <laughs> she knew she wanted this and she said I want to stay for this many days and this is what I want in it and I was like okay and we and I think we did that yeah she got it done <laughs> okay so ultimately we gave you a real experience yes you did okay okay so at some point you was like, you know what? I'm watching these videos on YouTube. You wanted to come, you contacted us. So how was the response from people at home? Actually, I got a lot of negative response because um, unfortunately, our media in the United States mm -hmm. did it um, South Africa negative. Extremely negative. Extremely negative. Oh, something's going to happen to you. Yeah. Um, do you know anybody over there? And why Africa? Actually, I invited some other friends. Yeah. And they declined because they said they didn't want to come to any country where you could get possibly kidnapped. Okay. So I dropped them like a bad penny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now, some of these people may have probably already went to Europe about several times. People no. No, they haven't been anywhere? They've been throughout the uh, Caribbean. Yeah. Mm, they've been to Alaska. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, I'm the more adventurous one. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
okay, okay. So then you decide to come anyway. We, we, you know, we got you sorted out. And then obviously you had to jump on the plane. Was this the longest plane flight you were ever taken? Basically, yes. Yeah. Basically, okay. yes. How did that work out for you? I had no problems. Yeah. I didn't sleep. It was 15 hours. Mm -hmm. I did cat naps. Yeah. And I got through it. You know, I, the only reason I bring that up because some people in the U.S. they only travel within the you know continental United States, yes. and they don't get those big planes. Yes, these planes are massive. Yes, and they're big and they have all the entertainment, everything you need. They probably fed you a lot. Yes. Yeah. So. Oh, another point. Yeah. And African Americans, listen, get on the ball because the bulk <laughs> of the clientele on that plane, mm -hmm. they were. Of another persuasion, let's put it that yeah. way. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. And they should all get their passports too, right? Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Because sometimes we get people that want to come to Africa or come to South Africa and then they're like, okay, great. Now I got to apply for my passport. And um, if they had one, that would that would just take out one thing. Right. And from what I understand, I'm hearing that it's taking a little bit of extra time to get yes. a passport. Yes. Cool. Okay. You got anything you want to add, Tasha? Listen. <laughs> she was so fun to work with um, just in general she was very easy going so I love clients like her that just kind of allow me to do what I do um, she was very specific in one of our five star lodges she wanted to go to and um, we had experienced it already and I'm interested in hearing how she felt about the lodge and the lodge was AM Lodge yeah. <laughs> in Limpopo Oh, in Limpopo. Yes. See, now, I'm a lodge person. I love lodges. That's yes. my favorite thing. Yes. Yes. So, tell us about this lodge. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I came alive. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, and after working, I said, I deserve this. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. yes. And, I mean, um, it was just spectacular. I want to come to you before we leave. We are about to leave this wonderful place. And it's always heartbreaking, but we must go back to Johannesburg. Um, it's been a good time. Like I said, we love the bush. We want to introduce you guys to the bush as well. So that's why we come out here. Once you guys see us out here, we showing you guys what's available. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing time being in nature. You kind of relax a little bit. Matter of fact, you relax a lot. So, but yeah, it's, it's, it's something. So we're going to be going back to the airport in just a few minutes. And uh, yeah, uh, but obviously if you, you know, have any comments or you have questions, uh, comments go in the bottom, obviously. But if you have, um, you know, um, questions about coming, go to our website, therealsafeafrica.com. We got that all set up for you. Um, and then, of course, if you need to reach out to us, you can send us an email. And then, of course, you can always, you know, book a, uh, a quick phone call with us as well so we can sort things out for you, make it right in your head, make it make sense, and then, boom, you're here in sunny South Africa with us, enjoying this, enjoying the animals, enjoying, um, yeah, we was just earlier just watching some buffalo and was watching some uh, some hippopotamuses as we were eating our breakfast. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting time. This is all new to a lot of us and um, I think that you know if you start coming here you'll see it and I'll be honest with you we, we did see a lot of Americans here um, but they they were not black Americans a lot of Americans so they know about it it just ain't telling you um, a lot of marketing is happening they see it we don't so we're marketing directly to you so we will see you here in sunny South Africa okay. especially for people if you're stressed out yes you know you have your own particular suite yeah um they're very attentive mm -hmm. because as you notice i have a little nasal issue going on here i have it too because i went on a game drive mm -hmm. looking for a discriminating rhino <laughs> you're looking for that white rhino yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i came back like this and what i really liked i was shocked mm -hmm. i didn't come to dinner and they called to see what was going on so i said mm -hmm. i'm a little under the weather one of the managers personally came to check on me. She wanted to know if they could get me any type of medication. Yeah. Would I like to see a doctor? Everything was geared towards my comfort. Yeah. That's what I liked about it. Great. But yeah. well, let me tell my story about game lodges. Uh -oh. Listen, y'all. <laughs> you know, as you probably have noticed, we, we go to a lot of game lodges. We go to a lot of safari drives. 
all safari drives aren't the same they're different every day you can go in the morning go at night they're totally different they're fun um, sometimes you got to look for animals and sometimes that's the fun part sometimes animals are just right there i mean you never know because it's not like you're just walking through the zoo you're actually in their space and you're out there for hours looking for animals and then of course the lodge itself has everything everything is five star you generally have a chef that's going to cook stuff for you so we enjoy that so that's why we're so um happy that she's going to a lodge and we got several families tasha that's going to a lodge we as do, well we do we do they're gonna lodge hop yeah is what i call them doing um they really love the safari lodges yeah. and i think that you know, when we talk about African Americans and them like not wanting to go on safari drives, a lot of them don't want to go. I was really impressed that you wanted to actually go stay at a lodge for more than one night or for more than yes. one day because yes. a lot of the times, um, even just having them go on a game drive for the day, they're like, I don't want to do that. I, right. Yeah. But but the fact that you wanted to, um, but the fact that you wanted to go and stay for a couple of days really allowed you to relax and I think that's the whole point of yes. why we like the lodges so much yes. because because you did say relax because you really very relaxed. you really do I was very relaxed you do, yes. you get, and you don't have a choice but to get relaxed I mean nature in itself is just relaxing mm -hmm. but to be out there for multiple days like you were yes. and then to come back to the city you probably were like I should have just stayed out there a little bit longer <laughs> <laughs> actually were you ready no okay I was not ready okay yeah. It's like, oh, here we go to the city again. Oh my God. You know. Um, but again, I said, on my way back here, mm -hmm. I was making plans for where to go next year. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. You know. Um, Limpopo is just beautiful. Is it not beautiful? <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes. It's beautiful. It is. Yeah. Um, I ended up in and Pumalanga. And Pumalanga. Oh, you, okay. And you're saying it right. So oh, I like that. Okay. Pumalanga. With the potholes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yes, yeah that's it. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, and Lucky. Yes. Yeah. Lucky is cool. Yes, yeah. He is. yeah, yeah. He's Lucky cool. had me doing things I ordinarily wouldn't do. Yeah. Yeah. But he really was nice. Yeah. And I ended up with um, around a lot of school children. Uh -huh. But I blended in. Yeah. You know, people started talking to me in their dialect. Yeah. And they were looking for me to respond. And so I did respond. So then they switched back to English. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very accommodating. Oh, and also, I was binge watching uh -huh. uh, African news. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? I was binge watching some of their, um, what else? In the daytime where they're, they're so brief? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They got some good ones. Yes, they do. Yeah. But the reason why I was binge watching it is because I wanted to hear the differences in the dialects. Yes. Mm -hmm. With the different types of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, oh yeah, shout out to another driver, uh, Bomani. Yes. He's mm -hmm. a Zulu. He is. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's my chum. My yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think you was feeling South Africa. I yeah, can say really that. Yeah, was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you still are. Yes. Cause she got, a, guys. She got a few more days here, yes. and whatnot. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. And the AM Lodge, I had my uh, what is that? Spa treatment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Phenomenal. Yeah. You have to. Do it. it is nice. Isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's worth it. It's it really so worth is. It. Because what we want to do, we want to get more people. Also, you know, Joe Bird, we're doing Cape Town, Durban, and then of course Limpo, Limpopo. And in Pumalanga, yes. simply because it's so beautiful, yes. so relaxing. The people you're going to meet are amazing, and they're going to take care of you at the, in these locations. They will. Mm -hmm. Because because generally we don't get that as black people. No, we don't. Also, I ended up at the Mall of Africa, yes. mm -hmm. and I got lost. Of course, you <laughs> but it was really cool because I found Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Yes, Downstairs yes, yes, yes. on the right. Yes. yes. Did so, you try one? Is that a yes or a no? Well, it was like three. three? <laughs> okay, but they come in the cute little box, so it's, it makes sense to just get three. Yeah, really. Good. Did you get different flavors or did you go with different the flavors? So, did you get any just flavors that are here in South Africa or did you get ones that you normally get back home? Here in South Africa. So, which ones did you get? Because they have different ones all the time. I got the double chocolate. Mmm, okay. Uh, the regular one. Mm -hmm. Then they had an apricot 
failed one. Did they? Yeah, I'm you never, have to try that. I definitely would try yeah. that one. So let me ask you this. So now you, you had to come here. Yes. You know, a lot of us back at home be like, they go places and they're like, I don't know if I can eat the food. I don't know if I can eat the food. How was the food here? Were you able to eat the food here? I had no problems. Yeah? At all. Um, like you were saying, at AM Lodge, they had a special chef. Mm -hmm. And he would come around and ask you, what do you prefer? Mm -hmm. And they would accommodate you. Yeah. Um, I had the lamb shanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were cooked perfectly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 <laughs> okay. It did. Cold and everything went away with that. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Speed it. Yes. Speed the cold. Yeah, that's Just speed right. it. Okay. So you would you would say that African Americans need to start spending more time in South Africa? Um I would say to not deny yourself yeah. in coming here. Mm -hmm. Um to Meet people actually who are your family. That's what it feels like. Yes. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to say that there may or may not be problems here. Of course. If you look for it, you'll find them. Mm -hmm. Just like in New York, you can step outside and you can get shot. Yeah. You know, going to the supermarket. It is what yeah. it is. It is what it is. You know, but you have to decide on how you want to live your life. If you want to be afraid, tomorrow's not promised to you. Yeah. You know, uh, what I like about you guys, you take everything in consideration. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, it doesn't get better than that. Okay, so everything's in order, no issues, because sometimes we get people that, like, they've never been here and they're trying to, you know, they, they preface it with saying, well, I'm used to building the trip myself as, a, as an individual. Right, they all do that, and then at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they they relinquish control and they say, "Okay, we're gonna let you do it." But I think we do a good job. Would you? Would you, you do say? an excellent job. And actually, before I came, someone was trying to undermine my plans. Of course. By saying, oh, "I could do it on the cheap. I could do this, and I could do that." Course. And again, I dropped them like a bad penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I said, because at this stage of the game, I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Well, we appreciate yeah. you. Yes. We appreciate you. Yeah. So would you say, are you are you getting what, what we, is, is it worth what you're paying, what we get what we get for you, what we do for you, you think? Um, I would say it's more so. Yeah? Yeah. It's worth every dime. Yeah. You know, we try to take care of our people. We know, you know, people work their whole lives and or right. they're trying to do things and, and, they, and they want options. Yes. So we, we want to give you another option. Right. And um, so people have been taking advantage of the, the option and been coming here and having an amazing time yes. here in South Ooh, Africa yes. and whatnot. Well, Tosh, let me ask you a question. Sure. What have people been saying, the people that's been coming here? Because we get a lot of emails once people leave. What they leave, they send us them, 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 them crazy they emails. Do, they do. Um, just recently I got an email from a lady that was like, you know, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for a wonderful experience. I'll definitely be back and I'm going to bring more people. And that's generally the consensus that they, they come, they come by themselves if they have to, yeah. or they may come with a friend or whatever. But generally what happens is they end up coming by themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when they come by themselves, I think that that's actually a plus when yeah. you come by yourself really because is. you really get to absorb everything. Yes. And you don't have somebody else like you got to be worried about. You know what I mean? It's not so much worried about and wasting your time. <laughs> you know, and no, truly, when, when you come in a group, there's never a consensus yeah. as to what one is going to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, somebody objects, somebody doesn't want to pay. There's always a problem. Mm -hmm. So you eliminate, <laughs> you eliminate the problem. <laughs> I like it. I like Brooklyn. I, I like, like Brooklyn. I know. Brooklyn tells the truth. <laughs> so that's it. yeah, so that's why we we set it up to where you know, if you want to pick a date, you want to arrive, mm -hmm. and then of course if you pick a six date, then you leave six days later. You 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 select that date, 
everything that we do is it's a private affair. Yes. You're not in a car with a bunch of people. We're not cramming you in trying to save money. Right. We want everything to be private because all your stuff is private. Absolutely. And that matters. It really did. <laughs> and I was living it up <laughs> every day. I said, this is mine. Yes. 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 It's yes. all yours. This is it's an experience that uh, a lot of people want to get, yes. but you can't do that. I mean, I hate to say it, with the word you on the cheap or trying to, you know, trying to, trying Nickel to, and diamond. yeah, and trying, to, trying to find a way to do yeah. it, to do it, um, you know, to, I like you said, to, to undermine it because you, the truth is you get what you pay for. You, do. you get what you pay for. And I, some people don't understand that they deserve to get things. They deserve to be taken care of. Um, they deserve to have someone check up on them if they did come to dinner, you know? Um, for instance, um, yes, today, uh, the concierge, actually I had lunch here. Mm -hmm. She was doing a walkthrough. Mm -hmm. What I liked about her, she saw me and she remembered my name. Mm -hmm. And she said, how are you doing, mom? Is there anything that we can get you? Are you comfortable? You know, I'm just like, this definitely is not New York. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I spent enough time in New York. Mm -hmm. Enough. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it's nice to just be seen. It really is. I mean, and when, uh, yeah, you, and but when you say you know, like, that you're seen, I mean, that's why they speak to you the way that they speak yes. to you. They, they make sure that they don't, like, pass by you without saying, like, hello. And I tell people, when they come here, be mindful that you need to speak to someone and yes. see them before you because you know as americans we'd be like hey and just start <laughs> talking to people do you know what i mean yes and here it doesn't work that way but for her to see you and to actually greet you and to yes. come up to you and yes. be concerned you'd be like oh she's just getting paid to do that and the truth is that's how south africans are yeah they are they really are wanting to know if you're okay and do you need anything and if they can get it for you, they're gonna try. Yes. yes. And I know you feel that. Very you have much. to feel that. Yes. Mm, okay. Well, I got something to say. Uh -oh. Listen, guys. You know, we're very proud of what we do. We really work hard to make sure everything is in order. Everything that she's saying isn't by happenstance. Um, we actually go to the AM lodges uh -huh. to the. The other lodges that we uh, that we talk about um, to the Limpopos, which is a province, which is a state, by the way, we go to the Mpumalangas. We go. We actually look at these people. We're not just talking. And then we're based in Johannesburg. So when we go, we form these relationships. And those are the relationships that you're going to be able to take advantage of when you come here. Those are the that's what's going to happen. And so you deserve that. And so we want people to have great experiences um, and everything. And, you know, like, for example, you come here, there's something wrong. We're here in real time. You have a trip manager. Yes. <laughs> Tell them about this trip manager situation. You get your itinerary every day. Yeah. Um, there's always some sort of correspondence. Mm -hmm. He checks on you to see how your day is going. Mm -hmm. um, and again, if you need anything, he tells you to feel free to contact him. Yeah. Again, you're never alone. Yeah. Never. So, e so even if you come, because we got a lot of people that want to date. I think we have more people who come single. We do. Than than with 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 a, a group mm -hmm. or a group or even their families, because. Or even, right. or even the couple. Yeah. So it's either singles. Um, we have some couples that come, but. A lot of the times, uh, a husband will come without his wife, a wife will come without the husband because they don't want to travel, you know what I mean? Um, but the majority of the people do come by themselves and they all say the same thing, that they never felt like they were by themselves. Yeah. So, Cynthia, where, where is, now you've, you've eaten here in the country. Is, is there any place in particular that you just like, wow, that was, that was halfway decent, that was all right? It was, no. Yeah. No, they were all good.
for the whole time. Yes. And, you know, nobody understood what she was saying. So she would call me mm-hmm. and say, Mark, remember when we was in South Africa, we did this and we did that, right. you know, and, and, it, and it meant a lot to her. So I think it was important that we was able to do that yes. and whatnot. So I think anybody who can come, we've had children mm-hmm. to come. As young as 18 months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so now you say there are people saying they want to move here already. Yeah, my, my sons. Uh-huh. You know, they were uh, asking me, Mom, are we moving to Africa? They wanted to know all of the particulars, yeah. what types of businesses are here, what mm-hmm. are the, uh, if you need to go into business, um, what markets are open. Yeah. You know, and I just said, I'm not listening to you. This is my tri- ah, my dream. To you. <laughs> That's right. So they need to come on their own. Of course. Yeah. It's not we, it's I. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. She had to put her kids in yeah. place. She was like, no, 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 you're not about to mess mama's trip up. Go ahead yeah. and ask her no questions. You better come see for yourself. Yeah. But, you know, the question that they ask is obviously very valid. But if they came on the trip and had their eyes open to see what was available, they would absolutely see it. You, obviously, you are here on a vacation and you're not looking for them. Right. For, but if they were here, they would see it for themselves. So um, hopefully you'll bring them back or maybe they'll come on their own. They'll come on their own. Okay, I got you. Yeah, because you're going to you're gonna vouch for South Africa. She's coming back to go on game lodges. I'm coming back next year. <laughs> and we will be here waiting on you. That yes. That is for sure. Yes. So let me say this, people. Um, you know, you hear us say, come on a trip. You must come on a trip because then that's when that's when the first level of your eyes being open to even being here. If your eyes are not open to being here, there could be a thousand opportunities. There could be a million opportunities and you can know about them all and have an invite for all of it. But if you're not really keen on being here, it doesn't really matter. It's just conversation. So that's why we always say, hey, come here. Like, let me show you where we're sitting. And then you will probably understand that there are people that, that are here that are movers and shakers where we are. But you got to be here so you could be a mover and a shaker as well. So let me just kind of show you where we are. Just so you can see it for yourself. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. So... You're here, Cynthia. Is there anything else you, you want to say about your trip? Oh, yes, I do. Oh. I want to thank you. You're welcome. Uh, for helping me fulfill my dream. And as I said, the real South Africa rocks. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. Fast, do you want to say anything about fulfilling somebody's dream? Uh, I didn't know it was that big, but I am grateful to have the opportunity. And I hope that we can continue to fulfill people's dreams and just show them South Africa and have them experience it. And then their eyes can be opened and they can start thinking outside of the box and realize that there's more to the world than the four corners of the United States. Hmm. Okay. What I have to say is this, is that a lot of times, you know, we've had people get off the plane they, and some people meet us. We don't, we don't have an opportunity to meet everyone, unfortunately, uh, because there's just so many moving parts going on. But I can say that people say, oh, you guys don't really understand how much of an impact that you guys are having in this arena. And honestly, people think we're being coy, but we don't know because we're actually here in South Africa every day with our nose to the grinding stone, trying to, trying to bring these opportunities to those who didn't have these opportunities. And so we really appreciate it when people say, hey, you know what? There's a movement. Things are happening. People are actually what you guys are doing. So only thing we know is is that we get an email (laughs) or somebody's booked the trip on our website and then we start to work. We start putting things in place. So when she's talking about these great people who are are drivers, these guides, we got to start lining those things up because they have lives, schedules and things um everything so we start lining things up and the good part about it is the people that we vet and people that work with us know what our vision is is that we want to give those who was taken away a long time ago the opportunity to come to africa and have a great experience so a lot of them make the same type of sacrifices that we have to make that happen for you so that's basically what we are doing 
And so we really appreciate you guys who actually came. And of course, Cynthia, who came from Brooklyn <laughs> <laughs> to tell um, her story. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, just come. Think about it. Don't think too long. Yeah. Make the plan and execute it. Don't second guess it. Okay. For those people of faith, step out on faith. Yeah. And just come. I must agree. So I'm going to leave it here, people. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you share, like, subscribe. Tell everybody, you know, uh, about this. Uh, tell everybody about Cynthia's story. Send them this video because, like I said, it really is a grassroots movement. People see us, and I'm, what I'm, I'm going to leave you with is that now that we're coming to, to South Africa more often and, 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 and there are just people coming on a regular basis, they see us. They see us coming through that airport. You know, we just came through the airport just recently, me and Tasha. We had to go to get, to get uh, something taken care of in the States. And I got off the plane, brother walk up to me. He knew exactly who I was. People actually do kind of know who we are here a little bit. And he said, so what are you doing? Are you bringing more people? Are you bringing yeah. more people? So they are, so now they're expecting us to come and, and they're waiting. So there's nothing stopping us. You forgot about the guy that saw you on the way out from Botswana. That's oh, from, that yeah, lives tell, in tell about that guy. I don't really know the whole story, but I <laughs> went to go find when we were departing and this guy walks up to him and he was like, Mark Blanton, the real South Africa. And he goes, I'm, I'm from Botswana. I live in Canada. And he basically was like, I watch all your stuff. What you're doing is amazing. Um, I'm on my way back to Canada now, but I want you to know that people see you and what you're doing actually matters. So that was on the way to the States for our business. And then coming back, he's on someone else. So coming and going, we've got people letting us know that they that they see us. And I'm just trying to hide. I'm trying to lay low. No, I'm just playing. But anyway, trying to hide. a little bit, a little bit. I just want to just, just relax and because me and Tasha did come here to enjoy South Africa. And so, as you guys probably noticed, we do. We eat our food, we drink our drinks, and mm -hmm. uh, we, we enjoy the good people that we get an opportunity to bring. So, I will see you soon in sunny South Africa. All right, guys, this is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa Travel and Tourism, and we have Dr. Latasha Blanton, The Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. So this is like a post interview. Um, we did an interview with Cynthia, and we always have, from Brooklyn, by the way, <laughs> and, you know, we always have like a, a, some responses yeah. that we share with ourselves about like the interview and what happened because we kind of know the whole story. So, yeah, what do you think, Tasha? I mean, besides the fact that she is just a gem, I mean, she makes me realize that what we do actually matters. Yeah. I mean, even when we hear, you know, good, positive comments, um, it inspires me to just to continue to do what we do because I do think that she can see herself visiting South Africa multiple times to build that relationship that yeah. we talk about all the time. Yeah, I think we kind of know where it's going um, because we've been there ourselves. And so we just want to put people in that space of having this experience. Mm -hmm. And then you can build from there versus having a bad experience mm -hmm. and then trying to build from there. Um, and like I said, it's amazing. Every time the people, you know, that we that we that we assist and they thank us, you know, profusely. Yeah. You know, it's it's we're so happy. Uh, it's still hard to to fathom that there's somebody that looks at us as a as as someone who made their dream come, come true. true. Yeah. You know, um, but we're going to continue to march, and obviously we're going to do it for the next person and the next person mm -hmm. and the next person. I think right now we got several people in country right now we do um several people actually we do and unfortunately based on schedules we're not going to get to see everyone yeah. um we were lucky to to catch cynthia before yeah. um before she's gonna head out of here on saturday um but 
even the people that we don't get to see, like you, like we said earlier, they send us feedback. Yeah. And the feedback is always positive about how much they like the fact that they have someone checking on them every day, that yeah. the trip managers matter. Um, and that just knowing that you're or not the, or here. The, or that, that they have not an Uber driver, but, but a, a proper, proper guy. a proper guy, a proper driver. Um, you know, coming alone doesn't mean you have to feel alone. Um, yeah. If you're into history, the guides are an immense resource. Like, resource for the culture and the history of this country. So all those things you get. Um, and those are things that we don't advertise. Yeah, obviously. Um, it's kind of hard to advertise everything you're going to get, but we know what you're going to get. Right. Um, based off of, you know, all the vetting that we do, all the people that all the places that we put you and that you go to. We've already checked it out. We've had those mm -hmm. great conversations. Um, you We've know. had all those great experiences. You know, I love the fact that she experienced AM Lodge. You and I went there. That yeah. is probably one of our top lodges that we love yeah. the most. I mean, that's the one where we got to see what felt like a hundred <laughs> elephants in the pouring rain. It was worth every every minute. Yeah. Um, but those are experiences that we want to extend to you for you to have because. You do need to have your own story. You need to come and make your own story. Come and have something that you can talk about forever yeah. and ever and ever. I think it was it was interesting that she was like, people tried to to steal her uh, her 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 dream of coming to Africa. There were people that was telling her not to come, don't come. They tried to fill her with a bunch of stories. And for our South African compadres, trust me. As an African American, to be coming to South Africa is a big leap of faith. Bigger than than it's big. This I'm just gonna say it, it's massive. You know, it's easy to say, oh well, there's the internet, there's this, there's that. But there are hundreds of years of of indoctrination not to come to Africa. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of there are a lot of African Americans that want to come. They won't admit it. They will go everywhere else. And they will not come to uh, Africa. Of course, South Africa is part of Africa, so they consider is it? It, yes. <laughs> so they consider it the same. But those that come, you know, we really appreciate the fact that you guys make them feel welcome. Um, and then they're all like, "Wow, they're making me feel welcome." They say, "You know, welcome home, brother. Welcome home, sister." And you know, and then you guys give them a little bit of the culture, just enough so they can be like. That that was that, that that touched my heart. Absolutely, and the respect that our Mark's gonna call them post millennials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, the the respect that you get as an older person um, that you don't necessarily get every day living in the states when you see a younger person in the states, they're not going to address you properly. They're not no. gonna. They're not going to call you mom or they're not going to call you, you know, dad or just trying to be respectful. Um, they might just call you old lady and knock you over. <laughs> that's, that's, um, that's extreme, but yeah. No, it's not no, extreme. Yeah, I know. I'll just play. It's not extreme. That's like right on par. Yeah. Um, but here, <laughs> but here they're going to check on you, make sure that you have what you need. And those things matter, especially yeah. when you've gotten up there in age and you know you're getting to that point to where it's possible that nobody's going to care about you and yeah. you come to a place and they just give you a little bit of respect and show you some love some 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 real love from the heart that's 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 enough to make you be like yeah. my heart is full yeah so i would say for that reason and many reasons you know that we as a travel and tourism company can never convey to you in a video or uh, show you a fact on some 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 I don't know I don't know you know what to call it all I can say to you is in so what we try to do is show you that hey you're gonna come we're gonna organize everything for you everything is gonna be in order at the end of the day we know what you're gonna run into you're gonna run into South Africa and all you can do is shake South Africa's hand and say thank you for allowing me to come visit your country I'm coming in to uh, do it proper yeah and as long as you stay proper, you won't have any problems. You're going to have a great time. And at least you know there's somewhere else that you can go. Absolutely. So we're going to leave it there. 
and whatnot because uh, we got dinner coming really soon <laughs> again. But we haven't eaten all day. No, we haven't. Yeah, we've been we've been super busy and whatnot. And like I said, we got a great opportunity to talk to Cynthia. Um, I know we called her, sent her a message, and she popped up and said, "Hey, you know what?" She told her story. She's living the she's living the the, the South African dream, and we want you guys to do the same thing. So we will see you in sunny South Africa. Guys, we have a video on Amazon Prime, and of course, it's going to be on our website. So please check it out. It is amazing. It is our first documentary, and it covers so many topics that we all need to be talking about today. So check it out on our website and Amazon Prime. All right, everyone, the real South Africa. We got packages, packages to Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban, and other places. We would love for you guys to come and enjoy what South Africa has to offer. And of course, as your travel and tourism experts here in South Africa, we can make it all come true. Now, we all know you guys have dreams and aspirations of coming to Africa. A lot of us do, and of course we did too, and that's why we're based here in Johannesburg, the city of gold, a very awesome place, and you're going to enjoy it once you get here as well. What do you get when you get here? Well, first of all, when you land here in South Africa, we take care of everything. We make sure your accommodations are good. We make sure your airport pickups are perfect. There'll be somebody standing there with a sign. We also make sure that the places that you're gonna visit are carefully curated for you, of course. And then you gotta eat. So what do we do? We put you in a perfect scenario, regardless of what city you're in, so you can actually have a great meal with friends and family, or even if you come by yourself, no problem, we're gonna take care of that too. But isn't this amazing? So this is what we can do for you. So to basically, all you have to do is just reach out to us on our website, therealsouthafrica.com. And of course, once you get here, we got you. Now, of course, South Africa offers spa treatments. They're absolutely amazing. And a lot of people just love it simply because they never thought they can get a spa treatment in Africa. And then, of course, we always provide you guys with opportunities to see special animals out in their own environment and so forth. The only thing that you have to do at that point, after you've been afraid from the, from the animals, is to get on a plane, come here to South Africa, and enjoy yourself. So we will see you here in what we like to call sunny South Africa. Oh, and by the way, you'll get an opportunity to shop as well. So, book your trip today. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.